it's a crazy story how i got here definitely beat the odds but that's kind of on brand for how god does things in our lives oh money that's a word for somebody somebody gonna come into some money or maybe it's me if you're receiving that money by faith like this video to come into agreement okay if you're new here hi welcome if you're not new here welcome back i know it's been a while a lot has changed god has been really moving in my life and yeah the winds of change have just been blowing one of the things i wanted to get on here and talk about today is the process of healing after a season of trial and tribulation particularly a long season of what just feels like constant trial or tribulation and or persecution mockery whatever just allowing god to heal you after a hard season right now like i am in a completely different environment i'm in a completely different city in a completely different state around completely different people than i was you know a month ago god is quite literally doing a new thing in my life and one of the things that has been coming up in me is the fact that I am low-key traumatized from the last season of my life. I've just gone through a lot in the last like four years and I have not only gone through a lot in the last four years, but I have felt like I haven't gotten a break in the last four years. And honestly, I feel like it's been longer than that, but for like four years now, I have been going through it. I mean, this thing really started as soon as I started to take God seriously. It was just thing after thing after thing. And I mean, if you've been watching my videos for a while, you've probably seen me discuss some things. You've probably seen me process through like some of the hard things that i've been going through if you look back on my videos i mean i've gone through almost everything that you could think of within the last four years i'm talking about health issues that could not be explained extreme financial lack that i've never experienced before i'm talking about poverty when i say i understand what it means to be poor and not know like when you're going to eat next i in the last four years have gone through betrayals and just situations and circumstances with people around me who for whatever reason decided to just be against me whether it be just through persecution being misunderstood by people being mocked slandered gossiped by people who were supposed to honestly be reflecting christ and instead um for whatever reason just allowed themselves to be a vessel for the enemy against me because that's exactly what it is like i'm well aware that our fight is not against flesh and blood um but at the end of the day we do have a choice and we have free will and we can recognize when the enemy is working is trying to work through us or in us and stop it or we can willingly be used by the enemy whether it be against a person or against ourselves and it just so happened that i kept encountering situations where people were for whatever reason just not kind to me and singling me out and the worst part of it was i was experiencing this in like church environments too it like got to a point where it's like you know i didn't know what was wrong with me i didn't know why the things that i was doing was weren't working i mean god has given me certain promises right certain like spoken certain words over my life and i would say for the last four years i've been working and you know putting effort in certain things and waiting for certain things to come to pass and just not seeing any fruit not seeing any breakthrough and just experiencing back to back to back attack i mean my whole life i've experienced attacks they come and go but yeah i would say like the last four years it was just like a crescendo of horror and i haven't even mentioned everything you know that i've had to work through and experience in this time as i was going through it i think i like numbed myself out and i think this happens with a lot of people like when you're going through a hard season often you don't even like realize how hard it is and it's just by the grace of god really that i think i was able to survive the last four years i mean i think even people who know me don't really know all of the things that i've gone through even mentally and emotionally and just all of the ways in which i have felt wounded and it's literally just by the grace of god that i was able to even make it out of that last season make it out of my hometown 
like alive but yeah now that i'm a little bit removed from it i'm pretty sure that i came out of these last four years with trauma like traumatized and really affected mentally and emotionally like i've always been a really happy joyful kind open-hearted person and i've just always i don't know i'm like a child i've just always kind of had this sense of in touchness with my inner child and that child is so hurt the enemy wanted nothing more than for my experiences to corrupt me and that's the same thing for you like when you are going through trials and tribulations the enemy's end goal is if he can't destroy you in that he's going to try and mess you up mentally and emotionally so much that you end up destroying yourself or imploding yourself if we don't deal with these things properly and we don't allow God into our wounds and the ways in which we've been hurt, then that's exactly what it'll do. It'll cause you to implode. It'll cause you to get all messed up inside. There are so many people who are like that in the earth. You know, most people who are mean spirited people, wicked people, or who do, who harm others, like a lot of them were not born that way. A lot of them are a product of their environment and it's a choice. Like oftentimes, in life you are going to go through trouble that's something that is it's just it's just your fact it's something that we can't avoid but we also have the assurance that we can take heart because jesus has overcome the world and if we allow jesus to be our the lord of our life we too can overcome the things that the world throws at us and the ways in which the enemy seeks to cripple us Okay, when you're going through a hard season, it's a choice whether or not you become a product of your season and your experiences and your trials and your hardships, or whether you grab a hold of Jesus and you overcome and you allow him to take you through so that you can come on the other side victorious with a heart that is still pure before God. If you want me to talk more about my move, then like this video and leave a comment and I will probably do like a really in-depth video about this transition and like what it's been like for me and how God really brought everything together because I'm living in an, in an answer promise right now. Finally, this was something God said he was going to do for me almost two years ago god told me that i was going to be moving to this city that i'm at it's a crazy story how i got here definitely beat the odds but that's kind of on brand for how god does things in our lives if you want to hear about it leave a comment like this video let me know so yeah finally leaving my hometown and moving to the city that god promised me that i would get to move to and attached so many blessings to the promise of leaving and coming here and being here i have found that i've almost had this mindset of like it's too good to be true because i mean for four years i've been waiting i mean no god gave me this particular promise two years ago but there are other things that i have been believing god for for a long time and i mean for a long time the lord has been speaking things to me and saying things to me and showing me visions through all that time like i was hearing from god but i wasn't seeing i wasn't seeing it you know like i would wake up every day hoping that today would be the day that something would change and then it wasn't and so now that i'm finally out of this season of trial and tribulation and i am entering into a new thing i am now having to play catch up in my mind and in my heart for the new thing that God is doing in my life. You two have to realize there will come a time where God is going to do the thing that he said he was gonna do for you. The promise will be fulfilled. The longing will be fulfilled. And then when that happens, if we don't allow God to heal us from all that we may have experienced in a previous negative season, we may miss out on what the Lord is doing. We may fail to see all of the good things that God is beginning to do in the new season that you are going into. Or worse, a person may sabotage it because they are operating in a new season with an old season's mindset or with the perception and the lens that's being filtered through their pain. When I think of this, I think of Joseph and how like Joseph was betrayed and hurt by the people closest to him. Like he was thrown into a pit, sold off as a slave and spent, I think 
how many years as a slave and then he was in jail for I think three or four more years on top of that this was what Joseph went through after the Lord had just given him this dream that he was going to be up here he had gotten this word that he was going to be somebody and the next thing you know he was underneath the jail literally and it makes me think of the part of his story where his family comes back around and we see Joseph like deal with some of the internal things that he obviously had picked up from going through what he went through. Like if you read the story, Joseph was fighting with himself when he saw the people who threw him in the pit. One thing about God is God will not leave us in a state of bitterness or anger or hurt and more than God wants to just bless us or take us into a new season more than that God wants to heal those things that have been broken inside of you along the way one thing I'm learning is that it's my responsibility to let him do that see God knew that Joseph was still torn up in his heart about what his family did to him and there was a reason that that full circle moment happened because that full circle moment was what healed Joseph that full circle moment was what allowed Joseph to be able to go back to that place of hurt and mend the wound that it was causing in his life and in his heart but imagine if when it was time for Joseph to go up into the palace after being in jail for so long imagine if when the guards came to get him after all that time he he just stayed and he thought it was a, a sick joke or he just you know he blew them off and said oh I don't want to interpret dreams anymore and he allowed the pain and the hurt from his previous season to stop him from being able to operate in the next season that God wanted to take him to y'all when I first came here I cried so much the first week and nothing was wrong I had no reason to be crying I mean granted it was a huge move and there was there was a lot of I think adjusting that I had to do I moved all the way across the country I mean for the first week baby I was walking around this blessed place with the same mindset that I was walking around my hometown with until I literally had to sit and realize through the help of the Holy Spirit that I am quite literally standing in the middle of an answered promise and I am quite literally every single day watching God unfold and make manifest in my life all the things that he's been saying to me. The only thing that was keeping me down when I first got here was my mind and my propensity to preemptively prepare myself for something to go wrong, whether it be something that I'm waiting on. I mean, housing, accommodation, this, that. There's so much that goes into moving. My propensity to operate from the mindset of still being under the prison, meanwhile, God is literally taking me to the palace, was keeping me from being able to move forward. I mean, even like with my YouTube channel and my content, like I've been wanting to do content creation for a long time. I've been doing content creation for a long time, a really, really long time, actually. There are a lot of creative endeavors that the Lord had me start and do, and he gave me certain promises about them, and I literally, like, was dragging my feet and picking them back up again because it didn't work in the last season. It wasn't growing in the last season, and allowing God to bring up a lot of the negative things and the negative ways that the past four years has affected me mentally and emotionally and in allowing me to really release those things it's been a little bit painful because it's uncomfortable as much as we want to get out of bad situations sometimes we as human beings when it actually is time to leave a bad situation it can be a little bit like because you're comfortable, right? At least for me, it's like, I didn't realize how comfortable I was or how much I'd gotten used to being disappointed all the time or being sad or being offended or being treated badly. I mean, when I tell you, when I first touched down here, everybody was so nice to me. I mean, I went into like the bathroom in the airport and some random lady just started talking to me and like kiki keying with me and stuff. And I'm moping around, you know, wondering, you know, why God, you know, how God are you going to get me community? You know, what is it going to, what is this going to look like? What's that going to look like? And he's literally, he's literally doing it. I mean, if I began to tell you guys the amount of unusual things that have happened to me in this city since I've been here, it would be obvious that this ain't that. There will come a time where God is going to do what he said he was going to do and he's going to take you into a new season and you might even be there right now. But I think if we don't recognize how accustomed we became 
to an Egypt mindset or a prison mindset, it'll be hard to see the abundance. It'll be hard to enjoy the palace. It'll be impossible to walk into and walk in something new if we don't allow God to heal us from how the old wineskins affected us. So I want you to take an action step right now. If you're going to commit today to allowing God to heal you, if you're going to commit today to operating in the new thing that God is doing in your life, then I want you to like this video and share this video with somebody who you feel may be encouraged by this word or who you feel needs to allow God to heal them. I think I'm just going to leave it there for now. I will see you guys next time. Bye.